So around three weeks ago, I made a video called Top 5 Best Upcoming Games on Roblox, and I said if it got 2,000 likes, I would go ahead and make a part two. Well, a few weeks later, and the video is going in the algorithm, and now it has 2,000 likes, so I'm going to go ahead and find five more up-and-coming games on Roblox for you guys to play. The rules are the same as last time. The game has to be in early development or very, 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 very new. And just like last video, we are not doing a genre-specific video, so we're not going to be doing exclusively FPSs or exclusively RPGs or exclusively social hangout games. We're going to have a little bit of everything for everyone, so everybody who watches this video has a new game to play so without further ado let's get this started so coming in at number five which is honestly my personal favorite game at the moment this game is called on tap now a quick disclaimer this game is only 17 plus so sadly if you're not 17 plus which chances are if you're watching my youtube channel you're probably not 17 plus you can't really enjoy this one which is why i'm ranking it number five but if age wasn't an issue this would be number one in my books but you know everybody would get mad at me if I put this at number one, so we're putting it at number five. So what is ONTAP? Well, ONTAP is a 17 plus social game, which it, it is just so amazing. ONTAP is one of those games that every time I play it, I come out thinking, wow, what the hell did I just play? And why is it four in the morning? And essentially what you do in this game is, well, you socialize and you make drinks for people. And to really be honest with you, that's about it. But the game is actually pretty in depth with its drinking system. You see, there are a lot of drinks that do a bunch of different things. For example, the, the bite, bite of 87. 87. I can't believe I unironically just said that in a video. But if you drink the bite of 87, well, you're gonna be passed out dead on the floor. There's another drink called Elgin Summoning, where if you drink it, you get sucked into the ground by some shadow demons. And if, hey, hard drinks aren't your thing, well, you can make plenty of margaritas. And on top of that, you can decorate drinks. And when I say there are a lot of combinations, I mean, there are a lot of combinations. I mean, this spreadsheet is just massive. Too much time has been put into the drinks in this game. Too much. But honestly, it's one of my favorite games at the moment, and I find myself playing this almost every single night. Coming in at number four, I have a game called Noob Tower Defense. Now, if you're a fan of tower defense games or just wave-based games in general, I feel like this game is a great game for you because this game is in pre-release, meaning that it's not even out yet. And even though the game is not even out yet, there's actually quite a bit of range of content in the game. So much so, in my very first match of this game I actually played, I actually went into like some hard area and I was just kind of like just starting up and I had my one little noob tower down and then these guys just came out 250 health and they absolutely destroyed me on the first round. It was a great humbling experience, but this game definitely has some grind potential. The more you play, the more money you get, which means the more towers you can buy and each tower can get progressively stronger and then you can go into a progressively harder maps. So if you're looking for a game that you can probably spend a weekend playing and just absolutely grinding out this is probably your game and after playing a few rounds of it i would highly recommend that you play it so coming in at number three we have blade ball now blade ball is a very new game that just came out and it is currently probably the most popular game on roblox at the moment and also the most painful game on roblox at the moment this game can seriously turn your amazing day into probably the worst thing that ever exists and i've played a fair amount of blade ball and i've only been able to to amount to two wins because I had to go into a lobby with three people and then win twice in a row. This game is very fun, but also very unforgiving. There's always that one person in the lobby that has over like a hundred plus wins and they are sweating their nuts off. Like for real, bro. Like whenever I play this game, I'm fighting demons, dude. The game features a lot of cosmetics if you're into that. There's a lot of cosmetics. Like there's a frying pan, a bonsai tree, a rock with a sword type thingy. But really all this game really is, is just you hitting a ball with a sword. That's really it. So play this game at your own risk. So coming in at number two, we have a game called Resident Massacre. And this game is personally one of my favorite horror games on Roblox at the moment. Essentially, you are put in a house and you're basically given a little radio signal and it's just like, there is something coming for you. 
Lock your doors. Board up your windows. Tear off your skin. And so after that radio message, you go ahead and go prepare. And once again, you are put in this, this nice little big house. It has two stories. It has a shed. And essentially for the first half of the game, you are boarding up your windows, setting up cameras, refilling the oxygen in your house because apparently you have limited oxygen in this game. And then once nightfall comes, well, you got to survive. Did I mention how scary this game is? This game does an awfully good job at setting up the ambience and setting up pure terror in your mind. There is not a scarier feeling than going outside at 12 in the morning to go refill the oxygen in your house because you're running out. But there is one way to fight off the evil and whatever monster that thing is, it's light. If he's crawling in your window, flick on the light switch, look at him in a little bit. Like any kind of Discord moderator, they get scared at light. You can choose to play this game solo or you can bring a friend along. And if you play this game solo, well, you're way stronger than me. I, I could never do that. Essentially, I play two players and then I let the other person do all the work as I hide in a closet. But for our number one spot, I actually have a really special game. Now, I was going to put this in the previous video, but I decided not to and to maybe hold on to it. This game is a very, very fun open world RPG. If you're a fan of the Dark Souls series or Souls-like games in general, well, this one is perfect for you. This game is called Derelict. I hope I pronounced that right. And it's a Souls-like RPG. And honestly, it looks like Elden Ring a lot. Just if Elden Ring was in Roblox. And as a person who's played Elden Ring and has beat Dark Souls 3 two times, I went ahead and used my controller, which I was kind of disappointed. The controller controls aren't that good. But even though the controller controls are not that good, the bosses are hard and the enemies are hard too. So you really have to think about how you're going to approach bosses. So if you really want to hate yourself, this is the game to play. And honestly, it's really, really, really fun. This is one of the games I could definitely see myself playing one once it's finished. The game as it stands is an early alpha, and it's a very, very ambitious project. What's really cool though, it takes a lot of elements from MMORPGs and puts them in the Dark Souls 2, so there's actually a reasonable amount of grinding that you can do. If you want to mid-max the living hell out of your character, you can do that. This game isn't all just hacking and slashing, there's a lot of stuff to do in this game. But I'll be honest, I didn't get that far into the game because one, I don't want to spoil it for myself when the game actually comes out, and two, I got absolutely destroyed by a bandit. I don't want to talk about it. But yeah, that was my five games I'm recommending today. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. This list was a little bit hard to make because honestly, it's kind of hard finding new games that are coming up. But if for whatever odd reason, this video gets 3000 likes, which I know it won't, I'll go ahead and I'll find five more new games, but that, that's going to be harder for me to do. That, that might take me a little bit. So yeah, I hope you guys have some fun playing these games and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of you guys' day. Bye-bye.